Hey guys, so this is going to be a third party reading. There's actually a few messages that I've already channeled, but I want to pull some cards really quick and see how that ties into the messages that I've already gotten. So just bear with me. So show me your connection to this person. Show me your connection to your, your person. Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reversed, Five of Cups, The Devil. The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, okay. Show me the karmic, show me the third party's connection to this person. Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, the Chariot. The Nine of Swords. The Sun. The Knight of Cups. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to refer to this person that's dealing with this third party, this toxic person. I'm going to refer to that person as him. Um, you know, this could be three men, it could be three women, take it as it resonates. If I say him, but you know, it's a her, just, just take it as it resonates. But, and you could be this man that's in this connection with this toxic third party, or you could be watching on behalf of that person. Maybe your person is, is stuck in this energy. They're trying to choose between you and someone else. They're a little bit confused right now. So, so just take it as it resonates, whatever role you fit in here, uh, whatever role you're in. But anyway, I'm going to get into it. So, so the, I channeled a few messages. Um, usually with seductresses, with, with succubus type spirits, it's like when you look at them, you can sense their own energy and you can sense the energy that they're trying to embody to seduce people. But it's like when you physically look at this group of karmics, it's, it's almost like, like in my mind's eye, it's like I can see like this whole other spirit in front of them. Like I can see this whole other being almost like this fake personality that they've tried to create to block people from seeing who they really are. So it's not just simply integrating uh, positive and their, their own negative traits. Uh, it's, it's more complex than that. It's, it's almost like they've put a lot of time and effort into pretending to be someone they're not into into pretending to embody this divine feminine energy and um yeah it's like when you look at them like physically it's like you can just get a sense of that like they've really it's almost like they've created a whole nother energy form to block people from seeing who they actually are and I'm getting I don't want to say it's like an evolved succubus spirit but that's what keeps coming to mind um, and I know I'm all over the place with this reading. I promise you guys, though, if you're in this energy group, there's a lot of important messages that want to come out. So just bear with me. I just feel like they want to block these messages from coming out. They want to block the warnings from coming out. So it's almost like I have all this energy that I'm channeling and trying to sort through. And I'm trying to energetically push past that block so I can get all the information and sort through it. So so please just bear with me, guys. But the energy I'm feeling is it's almost like with this group of, of men, this group of masculines, I feel like they are evolved. Um, I, I feel like they are intuitive. They are intelligent. They are wise. They are empathetic. They are good at reading people. So if just a regular succubus spirit, like a regular seductress came in, they would see right through it. They would be smart enough to see through it. They would see the red flags. They would recognize it. So it's almost like you know, the devil or, you know, darker forces that want to keep you two apart or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's some kind of like lower spirit or lower beings here that want to keep this couple apart. 
Um, and they sent in a karmic to do that. They sent in a succubus type spirit to distract this man from you, um, to distract this man from true love, to take him off path, not just to take him off path and keep him away from you, but also to take him off path in general to, I'm hearing to make him doubt his intuition or make him, he's meant to be on a more spiritual path. He's meant to go through a spiritual awakening. I feel like for some, he already is going through a spiritual awakening, but it's like this, this toxic third party, this succubus spirit was kind of, you know, sent in, um, to take him off that path to, he, he's not, when he's around her, he's not using his intuition. He's not on a spiritual path. I feel like she's very low vibrational and I feel like she just being around her, just in that energy field, just in that energy field simply lowers his vibration. Um, I feel like she's creating blockages in his life. It's it's not, I don't even know if it's just when it comes to love. It could be when it comes to finances or other areas of his life as well. I'm getting specifically though with his spiritual path, like specifically with his spiritual path. I feel like this woman is some sort of block on his spiritual path or whatever. There might be something they're doing together that's very toxic or there's something that they're engaging in together that's very... Um, low vibrational and it's just almost getting him out of touch with his higher self it's like disconnecting him from his higher self so I feel like there are negative forces there are negative spirits about that sent this third party in to to keep him away from you to keep him from his destiny to keep him from you know from evolving spiritually from doing the things he's meant to do in the world um but anyway it's, yeah it's, it's like when I look at when I look at like one of the karmics in this energy group, it's like there's this whole other being in front of them. And it's like it's it's this energy form that they've created. I feel like for this group of karmics, they've really spent a lot of time and energy almost um, studying and obsessing over other women, especially confident women, um, successful women, powerful women. They have spent time studying those characteristics they might even have like very powerful female role models and they know that they're nothing like those women like this toxic third party this karmic she knows that she'll never be anything like those women but I feel like she um she studies those types of women so that she can pretend to embody that energy does that make sense like she'll know she'll pick up on their mannerisms the way they talk the things they say the things they do and so she's created almost this whole just fake energy form, this whole fake personality so that she can trick people into thinking that she's one of those powerful women when she's not. Um, I feel like the truth is being revealed, Ace of Swords. The truth is being revealed. This is this man is becoming very much aware of this. He is seeing through her. His spirit guides are going to make damn sure that he has to see through her, that he sees the red flags. If he wants to try to repaint those red flags, paint them green, he can, but it's going to be a waste of paint. He's going to just keep going in circles and circles and circles because his spirit guides are going to make damn sure that he knows that this third party he's messing around with is not a true divine feminine. Um, but yeah, it's like the energy I get is like she's not just a regular succubus though either. She really has put a lot of time and effort into probably years into creating this whole fake personality that everyone believes is her and it's not. Um, cause I just, I keep seeing it and I'm trying to explain the energy and there's more messages here. Please guys just bear with me. Like I said, there's a lot of important things that want to come out in this reading. Um, I'm going to get more into it, but yeah, it's like when I like physically looking at one of these karmics, it's like, there's this, I just see them and there's this whole lot of darkness and toxicity. And then I see another, this, this energy in front of them, almost like a like an energy blob. And when everyone looks at them, they see this energy blob. But if you're psychic, if you're intuitive, you can sort through that and you can look at someone and you can be like, no, that, that I see that that energy is not you. You might have put years of effort into trying to convince everyone around you that, that that's you, but I can see your true soul. I can see your true spirit and it's toxic. Um... 
but yeah, I, so anyway, what I, what I was saying is I feel like for these men, I feel like they are evolved. I feel like they are intuitive. They are intelligent. So a regular succubus spirit would not be able to seduce them. This man is too smart for that. He wouldn't be seduced by someone like that. He would see right through it. Um, and I feel like maybe for this energy group, I think these men have a history of maybe drawing in, maybe they're empathic and they draw in succubus type spirits, like energy leeches, people that feed off their energy, toxic women. Um, and, and so it's like, they know better by now because they've learned, but, but it's like with this, with this toxic karmic that came into their life, um, again, she fakes the divine feminine energy so well. Like I said, she's put so much effort into creating that fake persona, fake personality, um, that he hasn't fully recognized that he's repeating a karmic cycle with her. He hasn't fully, he's starting to recognize it, but he hasn't fully recognized that with this woman, she is exactly like his exes. She is crazy. She is dramatic. She is toxic. She is an energy leech. Um, but it's like the confusion comes in because like I said, it's like that, that, that she's more of an evolved succubus. So she's, she's not as obvious as the women from his past. So it's harder for him to sort through it and, and figure out what his intuition is trying to tell him and really recognize that she has the same exact succubus type spirit as women he's dated before. But I do feel like he is starting to recognize that now, whatever this energy form is that I keep seeing, he's, he's starting to see through it. He's cutting through it. He's sorting through the illusion. Um, it, it's like, yeah, she's, she's a little bit better at the game than, than these other women were, but, but he knows better. He's starting to see the red flags. She's not going to be able to keep up appearances for long. <sighs> hmm. Um, some other channeled messages I got. So whoever this toxic third party is, I think she's really trying to force his feelings right now. She's trying to control his feelings. She's trying to control how they interact. I'm getting something about that as well. Like they might be having arguments. It's like she's trying to control how he talks to her or how he associates with her. It's like he, she's doing something. Her control issues are coming out. I'm really getting divine intervention with the Hierophant here and the Ace of Swords. I'm actually intuitively like channeling a um, like spirit guides. Like there are spirit guides around him that are working with him and going out of their way to protect him from this. So she's going to slip up. There's, she's, she has been slipping up and she is going to continue to slip up. There's no hiding her true colors. Again, she was better at the illusion than most women from his past, but it's, it's still, it's still an illusion. It's still part of this cycle, this, this karmic cycle that he's been repeating with these women. And if he ever wants to be happy, he's going to have to stand up for himself and he's going to have to really follow his intuition um, not repaint the red flags, really work with his spirit guides and be true to himself and, you know, really just develop his intuition and go down a more spiritual path and, and be open to this intuitive guidance that his spirit guides are trying to bring in right now. Um, cause I just keep getting something about her slipping up. Like she's going to, um, so another channel message is uh, another channel message I got. Okay, there was a few things. For some, I feel like this 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 person is actually trying to get pregnant by him to tie him down. That's only for like ten percent of you. That's not for the majority of you. But for some, she's actually lying about being on birth control because she knows that a baby will tie him down. For others, I just feel like she's trying to force something. She's trying to force. It's like she can feel that. She can feel that his heart's not in it. And I feel like she's trying to force a relationship. She's trying to find some way to control him and keep him trapped with her because she's very obsessive. She's very codependent. For some, I actually am getting that she is physically violent because it's, it's like she has this. And I've met women like this before, too. You know, I there was a girl... Um, there was a girl years ago too that I was uh, 
that I was friends with. And it was a very, it, it didn't last long. It was a very temporary friendship, but everybody loved her. She was so bubbly. She was so kind, just like these karmics are. She was super bubbly, kind, like talkative, wanted to know everybody, but something did not sit right. Like I never felt safe with her. I felt like something was off. Like I just, and I could not put my finger on it. And as I got to know her, I saw how narcissistic and selfish and toxic she was. Um, so always listen to your intuition when it comes to stuff like that. Of course, it's hard when you have trauma and there's other things going on. You know, it's good to give people the benefit of the doubt. But it's like if someone it's like the, for this group, it's like people just love this karmic, but she's again, she's faking it. She's faking the divine feminine energy. That's not who she really is. Um, for some, I feel like she's almost so remember what I was saying about her. Remember what I was saying about her kind of like studying these powerful women? I also feel like she studies this woman right here. She studies his actual true love or his soulmate, his twin flame, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like she tries to embody her char characteristics to some degree. I feel like she tries to embody. It's like she tries so hard to pretend to be everything that he wants, that he's been looking for. But she has a whole other personality hidden beneath that. Um, I just sense a lot of almost, I don't know if evil is the right word, but I'm I'm also picking up on violence. Tell me about that. Hold on. We're going to get into it more. Tell me about the violence thing. Four of Pentacles. The wheel. The hermit. She hates being alone, and I think she'll hold on tightly. Let's see. Yeah, I think she's violent. It's like she tries to present this illusion. You see this woman like, hold on. Four of Wands is about peace, but like you almost see it's like she's, it's like this illusion. It's like this magic where she's trying to create this illusion of being a decent person and she's just not. There's just, there's a lot hidden. There's a lot of anger hidden underneath this. And there's nothing wrong with being angry. I think it's normal to have anger here and there, but it's, it's, I just, I keep getting violence. Like I honestly feel like this woman might have a history of being physically abusive with men, but I think that she, how do I explain this energy that I'm feeling? I feel like maybe like, maybe it's been like when she's, um, God, tell me more about this. Hold on. Sorry. Bear with me guys. Bear with me. It's like it keeps being blocked. I keep like I'm trying to push through the energy and it's like they really want this blocked. So I got to I got to push through it. Just bear with me, guys. Tell me more about this. I feel like she wishes violence on people for one thing. I feel like she might visualize bad things happening to people and it's not anything to be afraid of. Like just do protection rituals on yourself, do protection rituals on your person. Um, don't give her the energy that she wants, but I, I get that she almost like visualizes bad things happening to people. Um, so if she, I feel like she's very, very jealous, very insecure. And I feel like if she's jealous of someone, she will, put a lot of energy into just I don't know if she's intentionally doing it like I'm not sure if she necessarily believes in energy work or witchcraft or anything like that but I just get that she like fantasizes about people getting physically hurt specifically for some I feel like maybe she was physically hurt in the past like she could have been in a car accident or she could have had some major physical trauma and she might have some kind of bitterness because of it that she wants to project onto other people but I just get like if she's jealous of someone, it's like she'll like visualize like something bad happening to them physically. She has a very evil soul, a very evil soul. There's there's no real empathy there. Um, I feel like any empathy that she has, it's like she's faking it. And I feel like this masculine, I feel like this man knows. I feel like this man can kind of sense that. It's like she plays a role to get what she wants from him to play off his empathy, to play off his emotions. 
And again, I really get the sense to, I, I keep getting violence. I just keep getting violence. I feel like maybe like she's lashed out. Like I feel like she might've hit a man in the past or maybe multiple men. She's hit them in the past or she's like thrown something at them, like thrown like physically, like she threw something at them or she like pulled their arm or it's like she did, she, she has some kind of history of violence, of being violent. He might also be starting to see signs of that. Like maybe if she gets wasted or she gets like, maybe she, if she gets in like a certain mental state, he might see certain signs of her. Um, this isn't for everyone, but for a lot of them, I really do get this energy of violence. So it's, it's like he might start seeing signs of that. Um, I feel like it's a control issue for her as well. Like she's very fake. So this is someone that will also lie, they'll deceive. Um, she's very, again, she's going to try to present an image, whatever whatever he wants, whatever he's looking for in a woman is what she's going to pretend to be for him. So honestly, if his type changed, she would change to match his type. She wouldn't be true to herself. This is not an authentic woman. This is This is a very, very fake person, so... Again, if he starts liking someone that, you know, has a certain hobby or, or likes this or he starts liking a different personality type, she's going to, she's going to follow his, she's a follower. She's going to follow his lead and try to match that to keep him happy and keep him stuck with her, to keep him off his path. There's something very spiritual going on in here too. Um, there's a lot going on like in the psychic realm, like in the astral realm. I almost feel like... Bear with me too. I'm going to get more into the connection between you two and what else is going on here. Just there's just so many messages that want to come out. And like I said, I feel like this energy group is really trying to these third parties are trying to block the energy. And so I'm having to really sort through what I'm channeling what I'm picking up here and, and get my words out. So so yeah, just bear with me guys. But but yeah, one of the things I was getting to is like she's trying to embody your energy. She knows, she knows that this man is drawn to you and I feel like she can almost intuitively or energetically sense some of your personality traits and so she tries to embody that. Like if you're very talkative, she tries to be talkative. If you're intuitive, she might try to pretend like she's intuitive or spiritual too. It's like she's, she's trying to pretend to be you. She's trying to, she's creating this illusion that she is you, that she is this divine feminine energy, that she is this powerful woman when she's actually an insecure, psychotic little girl, to be honest. Um, but I think the confusion comes in because like I said, it's like she's embodying some of your traits and it's almost created this confusion in his mind when he looks at her because he's almost seeing some of your energy on her. Does that make sense? It's, it's almost like he's... Um, because she's faking it so much that it's almost like some of your traits are similar or they're coming out in her. And so it confuses him and makes him think, oh, like, is this the real divine feminine? And it's like, it's not. It's it's that's an illusion. Um, but again, he's starting to recognize that. I feel there was another message that I got to. So as some of you know, if you've been with me for a while, I occasionally channel um, like scenes from movies or TV series or I channel songs and I was seeing this clip from Once Upon a Time. Um, if you guys have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But basically it was this scene where um, Robin Hood, they're like in the in the fake alternate reality. It's like the book world. They all get stuck in that book. Basically, it's like one of the one of the last seasons, probably like season four or five or something like that. But um, but Robin Hood is about to marry Zelina. This is what I was seeing that that scene from from Once Upon a Time. Robin Hood was in the church marrying Zelina and Regina was being told by, you know, by her son that she couldn't remember and all these other people that she couldn't remember who they were. But she was being told, hey, Robin Hood is your true love. Like, you need to go for him. You need to put yourself out there. You need to you need to break up their wedding. You need to stop this from happening or everyone's kind of screwed. Like, you, you need to put yourself out there. And Regina goes to the church to try to break up their wedding and Robin Hood sees her and then they come out of the church. And I think Regina is like in a sword fight and she gets stabbed 
And um, sorry, I'll try to hurry for those that you're not familiar with Once Upon a Time. You guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, Regina gets stabbed and she's lying there. And um, I think she kisses Robin Hood and it's like the spell is broken. But Robin Hood comes out with Selena and Selena's wearing a white dress. And her dress gets uh, some of Regina's blood on it. And, you know, Zelina tells Robin Hood, like, she just ruined my dress. Like, she ruined my special day. She fucked my dress up. And Robin Hood is like, can't you see that she's bleeding? Can't you see that she's, can't you see that she's hurt? Like, can't you see that she's dying? Like, what's wrong with you? And then he kisses, um, he kisses Regina and that spell is broken. Um, and they are, you know. So the the energy, the message I'm getting from that is that this woman's selfish nature, her true selfish nature, her true lack of empathy is going to come out. It's going to be revealed. Her jealousy is going to be revealed. Um, I was also getting, so there was like, I think it was like a meme or a story or something I saw a while back where this man went on a date with a woman and there was like a little kid, I think that needed help. And the woman got upset because they were going to be late for their movie or late for dinner or something like that. And he saw her lack of empathy and he didn't want to go on the date with her after that. He's like, if you don't want to stop and help someone because you're so fixated on us making our movie in time or making, you know, making it to the dinner reservation when someone needs help, I don't want to go on a date with you. I don't want to get to know you better. I'm getting a strong message that something like that is going to happen um, for the majority of you, like for your, for your person, for this man, it's going to be something that's just really in his face that shows her selfishness, that shows her lack of empathy. So she might see someone else hurt, whether it's physically hurt, mentally hurt, emotionally hurt. And she's not going to care about that person's feelings. She's just going to be all about herself, just jealous. This could even be happening today on Valentine's Day. So it could be one of those situations where it's like they have plans but maybe one of his friends needs help or one of maybe one of his friends like needs someone to vent to or maybe one of his friends is like going through something. Um, you know, take it as it resonates. There's lots of different ways that this could play out. There's different storylines here for that. But it could be one of those situations where it's like one of his friends is like, dude, I got to like I got to go to the hospital to um, my mom's in the hospital. I got to go take care of her. Can you watch my dog? And this third party, this this toxic woman is like, oh, like, no, we're supposed to go on a date tonight. Like, how could you do that? How could you like she's going to show how selfish she is. Or it's like he has like a female friend that needs to vent to him or needs some support or um, I'm hearing like needs a shoulder to cry on or she just needs some kind of help. And I feel like this woman's going to get very jealous and very competitive. She's not going to have any empathy or concern for that other woman that he actually really cares about. She's just going to get competitive and just be jealous and be like, no, we were supposed to do this and this today. How could you? Like, no, you can't go help her. You need to focus on me. Just me, me, me. Like, it's it's a very negative energy. So something's going to be revealed to this man. And he's not going to be able to keep repainting these red flags. He keeps trying to repaint her red flags. He keeps seeing. I feel like he's gotten so many signs of just showing him how toxic this woman is. Showing him that he's repeating a karmic cycle. That this woman is exactly like the people from his past. Um, and that if he wants to be happy, he has to break that cycle. But his spirit guides are coming through and they're really, sorry, his spirit guides are coming through. I keep getting spirit guide energy with these two cards, the Ace of Sword and the Hierophant. Where I feel like his spirit guides are actually almost, they're making sure that she reveals who she is to him. They're making sure that he sees the truth. And he can ignore his intuition and stay on a karmic path, on a low vibrational path if he chooses to. They're not going to force him. They're not going to force his free will. But again, he, he's not going to get very far um, just in general in life if he wants to stay in this energy. Um, but yeah, it's like she's going to slip up. She's going to reveal her selfish nature. She's going to reveal how jealous she is, how toxic she is, how controlling she is. I keep getting something about her trying to force it, trying to force like trying to demand something from him, like trying to demand, uh, like she's trying to demand something to prove a point. It's like she wants to prove, it, it's like a, it's like an ego trip. I feel like this woman has a huge ego too. It's like she wants to prove to herself and others 
that he has stronger feelings for her than he actually does have. It's like she's trying to prove something here. Um, another thing I'm getting with her... So again, what I was saying with her kind of almost embodying some divine feminine traits to kind of confuse him and deceive him into thinking that she actually is a divine feminine. But again, he's seeing through it. He's 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 seeing who she truly is. He's seeing how toxic she really is. But another thing I'm getting is that it's almost a tactic to keep him away from you. Um, because she wants him to confuse these traits. She wants how do I how do I word this? It's almost like she's trying to present herself to be more fun and loving and empathetic than she actually is. Like, it's all for show. It's all about her image. This woman cares a lot about how people see her. She is all about her image, all about appearances. So I almost feel like it's part of how she's able to try to cause issues between the two of you as well. Because then it confuses him because he sees these traits in this toxic woman who's faking these these positive traits. And so he's like, well, if I'm seeing these traits too, like this empathy and this this kindness in my actual true love in my person, um, how can I trust it? You know, how can I trust it if I saw it in this woman too and it ended up just being fake and she ended up being selfish? It's like on a spiritual level, she's trying to keep him blocked. She's trying to get him in like an eight of swords, nine of swords energy where he doubts himself, where he doubts his intuition. She's it's it's like she's a fake empath, I guess you could say. She doesn't have true empathy, but it, it's like she's She's using these certain tactics to drain him. I feel like she's an energy vampire. I feel like he might even feel drained or exhausted more when he's around her. Um, I feel like if there's something weird going on with like the energy between them. It's it's really strange. It's it's like it's like it's like the fake empathy that she has it's like it's it's because it, he has real genuine empathy but she doesn't but she's able to almost fake this connection with him um and drain him of that empathy drain him of his empathy like use his empathy to her advantage it's like she has she doesn't have like the typical succubus tactics you know it's not like she's not like a typical seductress she has seduction techniques but it's like she she goes about it a different way like she's very sneaky about how she drains this man so it's almost like he can't even fully realize that he's being drained because she has these tactics that she uses to slowly drain his energy and again confuse him and get him off his spiritual path and make him doubt himself and doubt his intuition um I feel like she may even also use sex to her advantage she may be having sex with him to try to keep him like maybe doing things that she doesn't even want to do in bed, like but doing things that she knows. I'm hearing some shit that I don't want to repeat. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy, you know, not hearing, hearing, but getting, picking up the energy of it. Um, she's doing some stuff in bed. Okay. <laughs> she's doing some stuff in bed. Um, and she, she's not even, I feel like for some of you, it's like she, she's again, she's fake. She's not even, she's not an honest person. If she doesn't like something, she won't be honest about it. She'll pretend to like it if he likes it. I feel like sexually, like in bed, it's like she's doing things that are really like maybe kinky that she's, she's doing it to keep him. She knows that she doesn't have anything to offer and she might know that he's a very sexual person. So I feel like that's one of her tactics to kind of confuse him and kind of keep him tied down but there's an energy exchange that's going on between these two sexually and it's not good she's taking a lot of his energy when they have sex she's getting him in a very um it's like there's a certain energy that he has about it it's like there's this energy he has and, and when, when he's in that energy she's able to take more from him there's, there's some weird shit going on energetically between these two. And, and this man needs to be aware of this. But again, I think he is becoming aware of this. He is seeing her true colors. He is seeing how toxic she is. 
he's seeing how fake she is as well. He's, I think he's, he's kind of testing that as well. I think he's kind of seeing that she's not an honest person. Like there's certain things I feel like he's either caught her in lies, like multiple lies, not just once, but like, I think a few times where he's about to catch her in some lies. Um, Yeah, it, sorry, I'm I'm getting jumbled because there's so many messages that keep coming through. But what I was saying before about the whole fake empathy thing and her maybe seeing your characteristics, seeing this woman's characteristics, um, seeing the characteristics of a true divine feminine or seeing the characteristics of just powerful women in general or the woman that his heart is actually with, like watching her characteristics and pretending to embody those. And again, I feel like that tactic, it's partially to try to keep him confused and hooked on her, but I feel like it's also partially to try to keep him away from this woman. Because I feel like he, I feel like because it confuses him. He's like, okay, well, if I couldn't trust these qualities in her, how do I know I can trust? You know, I thought this woman was really empathetic and loving and she's not. So if I'm seeing empathy and this, you know, loving, gentle nature with this person up here, how can I trust that this actually is real and it's not just another fake energy? It's it's like she's she's mixing her own energy with like true divine feminine energy to to deceive him to trap him to confuse him so that you know when he has his true love right in front of his face it's almost like he doesn't trust it or he doesn't intuitively fully recognize it it's like he's getting the energies confused does that make sense but i i feel like ace of cups eight of pentacles i feel like he didn't take the time to study his actual soulmate there was potential wish fulfillment here, but I think it was, it's turned around. It led to loss because Eight of Pentacles is studying its knowledge, its wisdom. It's really taking the time to fully know someone, to fully understand someone, their good side, their bad side, all of it. Um, he took the easy way out with this karmic. He didn't take the, the time to really study and get to know his true love. And then the devil energy came in here to to break them apart um with the hierophant though i am getting divine intervention i think he's going to realize that this soulmate is actually more she has a queen of pentacles she's more grounded and more stable and and strong and wise than he previously realized i feel like I feel like the divine is showing him not only his true love's true colors, like, like, or his soulmate or this, you know, soul connection, past life connection, whatever you want to call it. Um, take it as it resonates. For some, this is a soulmate. For some, this is a twin flame, but it is a higher level connection. Um, as opposed to this, you know, third party karmic connection. But I, I feel like he is starting to see his soulmate's actual true colors. He is starting, like, he's starting to intuitively pick up on who she really is. And at the same time, simultaneously, he's starting to intuitively pick up on, on this third party's energy. So he thought that this third party was a soulmate. He thought that there was something real here or potentially something real. Um, he thought it would be easier. He... <laughs> He thought it would be easier and it's actually much more complicated. It's much more difficult than he anticipated. He didn't want to put the time and effort into his actual true love. Um, he didn't he didn't invest in that. Instead, he saw like, you know, it's like the shiny new toy, something that looked fun and exciting and new. Um, and he followed that. He got distracted. He got off his path. He got off his spiritual path. But the truth is coming in. The truth is that this is not, this third party is not a soulmate. This third party is someone that is going to betray him, someone that's going to break his heart. I feel like he's moving forward from this. I don't feel like he wants this anymore. I feel like it is giving him anxiety. Um, but he's moving forward because his heart's not with this third party. He's again, it's like she, he's seeing he's seeing how selfish she is. She's going to do again. She's going to do something. I keep getting that strongly. She's going to do something intense that's going to reveal her lack of empathy. Like someone's going to need him. Someone's going to need him. They're going to need his help, whether it's in the physical or like they need, you know, 
Like they need someone to talk to and she's going to get competitive. She's going to make it all about herself. Like, oh my God, you've been on your, on the phone with your friend for an hour. Like what the fuck? Is there something going on between you guys? Like she's going to really get in his face about it. And she's going to, and he's going to be like, dude, like my friend's like going through some shit. Like my friend is, she needed my help or she needed advice with something like, there's gonna be something like that or again it could be something else like for some it's gonna be more of the energy of um it's just it's just some kind of lack of empathy it's just it's just yeah her lack of empathy is gonna be revealed i keep getting violence i keep getting violence with her too it's really interesting because I don't get that she's like an honest person. I don't get an honest, assertive energy from her. I get more of an insecure energy from her. Like there's no genuine confidence there. Um, I mean, it's it's not like true assertiveness. It's not like, like she doesn't stand in her power. She doesn't have power. But it, it, it's like she might be competitive and jealous and aggressive, but she's not genuinely powerful. Does that make sense? It's It's like... It's just she's so aggressive that it comes off as power, but it's not true power. Um, but yeah, there's going to be there, shit's going to hit the fan with her is what I'm getting to. I feel like there's going to be a really bad argument between them. Um, tell me about this argument. Nine of Swords. The Hanged Man, the Hermit. She is... She doesn't want to be... How do I explain this? She doesn't want to lose. She's very competitive. She doesn't like to lose. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. This is his energy too. Anxiety, insomnia, being in his head, overthinking. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. She knows that he's letting this burden go. She's trying to control him. She's trying to hold on tightly to him. They're both seeing the incompatibilities there too. Like there's a lot of things that he does that she's not like happy about or there's there's certain things about his personality that she doesn't like and vice versa it, it's like they're not compatible on a deeper level there's not like a deep soul connection like this isn't like a past life connection there is no real like psychic connection between them there's no past life connection like this is very karmic at most um I feel like she used to be able to almost be mentally abusive with him and make excuses for it. It's like anxiety, sleepless nights. Like I think she used to be like, like she would act out or she would yell or she would cause drama or she would start fights. Like she would be jealous and competitive and she would just create issues in his life. She would create burdens in his life. And I feel like she would try to play the victim about it. Um, and I think that he's finally the hanged man. I think he has a new perspective on it. I think that, I think he's taking a moment to pause and reflect and really use her into his, in, his intuition and not just, he, he's not repainting the red flags with her anymore. He's not trying to repaint those red flags anymore because I feel like, I feel like he's kind of a little bit pissed off because I think that he's starting to realize that she's been playing on his empathy that she's been draining him of his empathy, that she's been using his empathy to her advantage because she knows in the past it's like she can do shit and she can act out and then she can make excuses for it, you know? 
Like, oh, I'm sorry I, I yelled at you. I was just anxious. Or like, I'm sorry I like, you know, got wasted and, and threw up all over you. I was, um, I did this or this or this. But it's like a regular thing with her. It's not like everyone makes mistakes once in a while. This isn't like a one or two time thing where it's like she's just, you know, had a had an off night here and there. This is like a regular thing. And I think that she has something. She has like an excuse that she uses to her advantage. And it could be like like anxiety or past trauma or things like this. Like it, it's like certain things where she knows she can play on his empathy. And, and so she falls back on that. She's also unwilling to work through her traumas and fears. She wants him to be responsible for her. She wants him to be responsible for her traumas, for her fears. She wants him to take, how do I explain this energy? It's like she wants him to, um, to take care of it for her. I feel like this woman, she's not very spiritual. Because honestly, with like a lot of third parties, I get like, I always am like kind of drawn to like, see like, are they doing black magic? Is there anything to know? I don't even feel like they are doing black magic. I don't feel like this girl... I don't feel like these women are witches. I don't feel like they're spiritual. They might try to pretend to be spiritual to a degree, but I don't think they, they don't have a strong intuitive side. Um, they don't, they don't have any true power. And it's, it's almost like for most of you, I don't feel like there's even black magic going on. Like, I don't feel like they, I don't think they even know how to do magic. I don't think they know how to, um, how do I explain this? It's like I'm just getting this energy of this woman being kind of spiritually lazy. Like she's emotionally lazy. She wants to play innocent and she wants to make other people responsible for her. She wants to... Um, how do I explain this? Like... She wants him to feel like her past traumas are his responsibility. Like, oh, you need to treat me this way because of what I've been through. Or you need to do this and this for me because of what I've been through. And it's like, it doesn't work like that, you know. Um, if you've been cheated on a lot, if you've been through a lot of men that, with a lot of men that have cheated on you, you're going to be damaged. You are going to bring that baggage into the relationship to some degree. Like, it's not like it's just going to go away, but you can't expect the other person to just like be like, okay, you can be jealous and crazy and controlling all the time because you've been through all this stuff. It doesn't work like that. You still have to work through that. You have to be open and honest with your partner about your triggers and you still have to work through it and take accountability. This woman does not really take accountability. Um, like, I don't feel like she does apologize. Like, if she does something wrong, I feel like she tries to make excuses. Or she might apologize a little bit, but she, like... It's, like, not, like, a genuine heartfelt apology when she does something wrong. It's, like, she tries to act like an innocent little baby and be, like, oh, I did this, but I did it because you did this. Or I did it because of, of this this thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, I just get, like, spiritually lazy. Um, not very spiritually advanced. Not very spiritual. No psychic abilities. No, no real intuitive abilities with this woman. And, and everyone's afraid of getting hurt, but it, it's like this woman is not willing to work through those fears and those traumas. Um, how do I even explain this energy? I really feel like his soulmate might have fears and traumas as well. Um, I think everyone does, you know what I mean? But I almost feel like part of it, it's like there's something going on here energetically where it's like part of her tactic is to like drain him so he doesn't have the energy to support his actual soulmate so that this man doesn't have the energy to actually support his true soulmate who actually would be you know is able to take accountability and work through her traumas and work through her fears and choose love over fear you know this this toxic third party just wants to drain him she just wants to drain him I feel like she notices that so he's smart and he's finally listening to his spirit guides. He's finally listening to his intuition about this third party. Um, he's not making excuses. Again, there's certain tactics. There's certain things that she does to try to play innocent, to try to um, almost like downplay her toxic behaviors. 
and he's recognizing it now. He's shining a light on it. He's going into hermit mode. He's got a new perspective when it comes to this toxic woman. And I think it is giving him anxiety. He is really in his head about it. But I think he's, I think what this card is also telling me is just that he's seeing through her, like the pity party energy, the, the nine of swords, like victim mentality, like anxiety, like, you know, acting out and being psychotic and then making excuses for why she's that way. Um, or maybe she has like a mental illness and maybe she blames her behavior on that mental illness. That could be for some, like she might be bipolar or something of that sort. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like she notices him pulling away and she's doing her. I get a very strong controlling energy. She's trying to, it's like she doesn't want to lose. She wants to be right all the time. She's very prideful is what I'm getting to. She is very prideful. Um, she's not a very humble person. She's someone who's... Um, just very, very prideful. Tell me more about this. He feels like he missed an opportunity with the high priestess. He's starting to recognize, he's really starting to recognize that this high priestess has true empathy and this toxic third party is very low vibrational. She's a psychic vampire type, a succubus type. She has false empathy. She has a false personality that she presents and he's cutting through that illusion. His spirit guides are with him and I feel like he might be praying as well for some, like he's praying for guidance or he's like meditating or trying to get intuitive guidance and it's coming to him. And he's starting to, I'm almost seeing like this, this fake persona she has is starting to like dissipate. It's like, it's like he can see through it now. He can see through the fog and he's like, oh shit, this bitch is evil. This bitch is crazy. Like he's seeing that succubus soul in her now. He's seeing that succubus spirit that she was trying so hard to hide from him. Um, and again, his spirit guides are going to make damn sure that he cannot repaint the red flags that he's not able to lie to himself about her. He is going to see her true nature. He's going to see, he's going to experience her lack of empathy, her lack of um, concern for the things, like she doesn't care about the things that he cares about. You know, it's, it's more like obsession and lust because it's like, if you really love someone, you're going to support their friendships too. You're going to support their their family, like whatever, like the things in their life that are important to them, you're going to want that for them. The things that make them happy. This woman is obsessed though. She doesn't want, she wants to isolate him from, from people, from everybody. She wants to keep him in the dark. She wants to isolate him. She wants to blindfold him. She's obsessed with him. She's not in love with him. She is obsessed with him. She's obsessed with his energy. He's a very powerful empath. And so for a succubus spirit, that's a, that's a pretty, strong energy source for her um but she feels him pulling away she can feel energetically that her, his heart's just not with her um and again it's like he's gonna see the red flags it's gonna be in his face the lack of empathy the lack there's gonna be something too where I feel like for some he might be like in this energy of like oh she really loves me I feel you know like, I don't want to hurt someone that really loves me. He's going to see for himself that she's actually just obsessed, that it's not even about him. It's more about the energy that he presents her. It's it's what she's leeching off of him. Um, because something's going to happen where he's going to see that, that, he, that she doesn't care about the things that are important to him. She doesn't care about the things that, that, that he cares about. She's just codependent on him. It, it goes back to that energy I was getting where it's like it might be like a friend or someone who needs his support and she's going to get jealous and competitive and she's, she's not going to care that this is important to him. She's not going to care about anyone's needs or feelings except for her own. Very, very selfish, very reckless energy with her. Hmm. 
I just keep getting lack of empathy. Lack of empathy is going to be revealed. The false characteristics that she presented, it's it's all he's it's gonna be shown to him how it's how it's false. Like if she tries to present herself as a genuine person, she's gonna be caught in lies. Like she's gonna be caught lying to him. If she tries to present herself as someone like that someone of that has integrity, it's like it's just it's gonna fall apart. If she tries to present herself as confident, he's gonna see how how insecure she truly is. Um I almost feel like he already wants out of this. Like, he's trying to sabotage this. He doesn't want to be the bad guy. He feels bad hurting her, especially since it's around Valentine's Day. But I think he already wants out. I think he already knows that this woman is not for him. He already regrets getting getting too involved in this. Um, she's He needs to protect himself from her because, like I said, she's very controlling. Very, She wants to own him. She almost sees him as a possession and not his own person. I feel like he's wanting to work things out with his true love. It's like there was wish fulfillment there, but he didn't see it. He didn't see what was in front of his face when he had it. And now it's almost like he's he's making this vow of like loyalty, integrity, honesty. He's going towards his high priestess, towards this woman that's intuitive, that's wise, that's spiritual, that's powerful, the true divine feminine energy, his true counterpart. You know, it's like with this with this false woman, it, it's like it, it, she gave off the illusion that she could be a power couple with him, but she was too insecure for that. She was too... She didn't know him. She didn't understand who he really is. She she didn't she doesn't have the confidence or the emotional depth or the self-awareness to really hold space for everything that he is. She just wanted whatever she could get out of him. She wanted control over him. And so he's recognizing that now. He's recognizing that that um you know, with her, it's like there was illusion, this illusion of having that kind of relationship. But with this high priestess, he actually can have that relationship. You know, everything that this this psycho was pretending to be, this high priestess actually is those things. She truly is. That's in her nature. That's who she is. And he's seeing that now and he's going towards this high priestess. And this this third party is pissed. This third party's not having it. She's not happy. Part of it is just not wanting to lose. I almost feel not for all of you, but it, it's it's such a strange energy. I feel like she could be talking to multiple men. This I mean this this toxic third party. I almost feel like she might have. Um, I just get such a tense like controlling energy with her. Oh. <sighs> Um, okay, we're, we're quite far into this reading. Hold on. I'm getting this energy of this argument. So it's like, I had to like stop and pause and like channel it for a minute. Cause it's, it's almost like, I almost feel like he's going to start the argument and it's going to catch her off guard. Um, it's going to play out differently for everyone, but I, I just get this energy of him being like, what the fuck? Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, I just get this energy of like... <laughs> Like, she's going to try to be cutesy. She's going to try to, like, manipulate him somehow. And he is going to be like, like, bitch, are you that fake? Are you kidding me? Like, are you serious right now? Because I, I feel like she might start arguments with him sometimes, but I feel like this argument, he's going to be the one that's more pissed off than anything. It's going to be more, she's not going to be the one that's super angry, I think. Well, I mean, I mean she might to a degree, to a degree. But I think that he's going to be the one that's really pissed off because, again, his spirit guides are making sure to protect him from this crazy ass. Um, this bitch crazy. And I feel like, again, she's going to do something and he's going to be like, are you kidding me right now? And she's not going to see it coming because she's going to try to be cutesy about it. I feel like, again, she has like manipulation te techniques. She has these really manipulative techniques that she uses on people. And again, he's starting to see through it. He's starting to recognize her patterns, recognize when he's being manipulated, when he's being fucked with. Because um, I just, I, she, she's going to do something. I feel like, tell me about this. She's going to say something or she's going to try to get him his attention at like the worst time. Like again, it could be one of those situations where it's like his friend's in the hospital or his friend has to go take care of someone in the hospital. This is for someone specific that I'm getting that there's something about like a hospital trip. 
And she's going to try to be cute and pouty. Because I get that she does that. There's something about her being like cutesy and pouty, but it's it's not like a genuine cute energy. It's it's more like she knows that she can manipulate him with that. And she's going to do it at just the wrong time where it's going to really reveal her lack of empathy. Like she might have like a little cutesy face she does with him or something like some kind of cute little mannerism I'm seeing that she does with him. So it's going to be like one of those situations. Um, this is for someone specific I'm getting. Like he's going to get a call. Someone's in the hospital, like a friend, family member, or again, someone needs to visit someone in the hospital. Um, and it could play out differently. It's going to play out differently for everyone. Like that's not for everybody. That's that's one message for someone specific here. But for others, it's like there's there there's something that's going to happen where his attention is needed elsewhere, where someone is going to need him in some shape or form. I feel like she might try to be cutesy at like the worst time. It's like he gets a call. It's like his mom's in the hospital, you know. Um, and she does like a cutesy little pouty face. But like, oh, I thought we were going to go to this. I thought we were going to go to this restaurant tonight. Like, I thought we were going to go here tonight. And he's just going to look at her. I just see this look on his face. He's going to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you fucking kidding me? someone's in the hospital like no we're not still going to dinner like I'm gonna go take care of this she's gonna try to do something to get his attention and he's gonna see that she does not care about his feelings that she does not have his best interest at heart that she's very selfish she's very shallow tell me more about this argument it's like something's going to be revealed and, and he's just going to be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, oh, hell no, bitch. Because <laughs> I think that he's already aware of how, like, her insecurities, her, her manipulative side, her her psychotic side. I think he's already becoming more and more aware of that. But I don't know if he's fully aware of her lack of empathy. I think he's still a little bit confused on that. Like he might be trying to find out more about that. Like, like, is this another tactic? Or is this real? Is this genuine? Because it's like, there's, again, there's these personality traits that she presents to him. And sometimes he can't tell when it's like real or when she's just trying to get something from him. Tell me about this argument. Ten of Pentacles can be family and Six of Cups can be childhood. Yeah, there's something here. There's like someone's going to need him. I just keep getting someone is going to need him. Someone's going to need like Three of Pentacles building something together. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups. If it's not physical, it could be emotional or mental. Just someone going through something harsh. Someone in his life going through something right now. Yeah, something's some, some shit's going to go down. I almost feel like he's looking for an excuse to break up with her. Like he's already, he's already kind of aware of this. Um, yeah, I just keep seeing her being cute and pouty, but she's going to do it at the absolute worst time. She's going to do it at the absolute worst time. She's going to make everything about herself at the absolute worst time. Like she's not going to have the tact, like she's not going to like be aware of that. Um, she's not going to be aware of like the, how do I explain this? He might be having a bad day and it's like she's going to be so about herself that she's not going to notice it. Any final messages? I wish I could get more insight, but it's like it is so it's so blocked. Like it's so I feel like they're trying so hard to block it. And I'm just like, ugh. I have to push through it. Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands.
feel like I feel like you could be in your head. You could be heartbroken over this. This woman could be heartbroken over this man and like considering just like it's like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like she just can't take anymore. And I'm thinking I'm picking up on like the the high priestess that I channeled. Not the not the third party karmic that's toxic, but I'm picking up like his actual soulmate is a queen of cups. But I feel like she's sad. She feels trapped. She feels hurt. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. But I feel like just when she's about to let go or just when she's like, I, I don't know how to do this anymore. It's like he comes through as a king of pentacles with truth and clarity and justice and wanting to build something, recognizing that he didn't give this a fair chance, that he... Um, Let's see. It's like there's a stagnant energy here. Hold on. Ace of Wands in the Sun, though, is like there is a new start here. If he goes for this, if he stays with this third party, because this high priestess, this Queen of Cups, she's not doing this shit with him anymore. She's not entertaining a third party situation. She knows her worth. She's not going to do it. So he's going to have to wrap this third party situation up if he wants to be with her. Because she's feeling heartbroken. She feels like she doesn't want to. She feels upset. She feels hurt. Yeah, he's going to have to come through. He's going to have to leave the past behind. This man basically is going to have to choose between the karmic path um, or a more evolved, more soul-based path and putting in the effort to, you know, his actual soulmate. He needs to decide if he wants to repeat a karmic cycle with, you know, another crazy person, a crazy woman that's just going to drag him down or... Does, does he want to grow and evolve spiritually? Does he want to get on his spiritual path? Does he want to, um, does he want to end this karmic cycle and get to a good place with his actual soulmate? You know, it, it seems like there's not a lot of time left. He's going to have to make that, de that decision sooner than later. Cause with the, the three of swords, the eight of swords, the ton of wands, it's like, I feel like this woman, this high priestess is very heartbroken over this. She was very upset. Um, she's, she's not going to put herself through this very much longer. Um, if you guys are interested, I might do some more love readings too, but I just wanted to do that third party reading. I'm going to do a follow up and I'm going to post at the same time as this one, because I'm getting another message for this energy group, which is that the third party is actually connected to you and not to your person. Um, there was a past, there's something going on with like past lives here. I'm going to look into it, but, um, I want to put this one out and check back on my YouTube page for the, the follow-up to that.